the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. That, I, that ain't for me. That is not my, I'm not called to do that and no other man I know is called to do that either. But so, now, you can, you can judge the truth by the fruit. You can determine the yeah. truth by the fruit. Right. So now, if there's fruit on the light and there's fruit on the death. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. The, the, oh. question, the question is, is you come as a child of God. Yeah, but, but even by examining the fruit, if you're not, if you don't have any fruit of the Spirit, <laughs> you know, not one, then, then, you know, that says something. I think I think I think the I think the issue though is that uh, when you and I and I really come back to this for anybody when you say you come as a babe and I use the analogy of saying is that every child comes in as an infant uh, they have to they even as they're growing they 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 have to learn how to tie their shoe they have to learn how to clean up behind themselves they they have to see i'm saying i think a lot of cases we get caught up in those early stages of a person life because i think if you look at a person further than rosa how can you be in this gospel and not change right but the question yeah. is when do you change so you may see a babe is what i'm trying to say you may discern spiritually uh that this person is a babe in Christ. And I think you have seen that, right? That you have seen some people that well, you, you you just don't, you don't have a lot of, you don't have all the understanding is why you doing what you're doing. And you have to be able to discern that. Because if they sit there saying Jesus Christ my personal Lord and Savior, that's a, that's my starting point with them. You know what I mean? Give give them give them time to grow. Oh, most definitely. You know, you can't you can't corner someone in the box. You can't by by what you you examine and what you uh, what you see displayed by an individual. No, you can't. Um, and I think thing, Go ahead. You don't know what part of that person's journey they're doing. You don't know what word that they actually have in them until you truly spend a lot of time with a person. Right. Uh, and you'll you'll see, you know, uh, where they truly are. Um, you know, there's days where you you <laughs> you are more spiritually minded than you than you are on other days. And other days, yeah. There's other days where you you're more walking in the flesh than in the spirit. Yeah. So you know, just to to see a person. Especially on Sunday. Come on. While you in church. Come on. Of course, you're not going to see <laughs> that person. Uh, I think you're you're more so seeing a representation of a person because they're more focused on on things, you know, uh, on their behavior. Right. 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 And that that may not be that person walking in the spirit. That's that person being disciplined to present a certain appearance. Right. But it's it's in the everyday action and 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 uh, decision uh -huh. that a person, which is which is awesome how you know you be disciples have got to experience day and night with Jesus day right. after day right to witness 
what it was like to always walk in the spirit. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And there's there's times when you know, even though they learn uh -huh. how to emulate Christ and, and learn what it was like to be as him and to actually uh live according to the law right. like he was. Come on now. But he Jesus still put him in check. Yes, sir. <laughs> you and, and know, no. you can go there with him and witnessing him. He still get behind me, Satan. He did. Right. Hey, did you did you notice sometimes like that that when that scripture we just talked about the greatest in heaven in the kingdom? That was them asking him who's the greatest. Yeah. And, you know, there's some parts of the scripture where they were actually debating which of them were greater. Yeah. Because they were operating, they, you know, even though they walked with Jesus, they, they were, were operating in the flesh. In the flesh. And they it were wasn't until, in the flesh. It wasn't until that, that Holy Spirit. Uh huh. And, you don't, <laughs> and the question is, you know, if this, um, they were, they ran away, they spent more time with Jesus than most people, but yet they ran when the conditions was questionable. Yeah. And Judas portrayed Jesus, but Peter denied Jesus. And, and if you ever noticed that, that Peter, when Jesus said, go tell, you know, when he said he told, uh, uh, was it Mary? Mary and Magdalene said, go tell the disciples and Peter. Yeah. Well, that meant Peter, Peter, I'm, I'm suffering you from them because you denied me. But I, but I, I'm I'm bringing you back. I'm gonna bring you, I'll bring you back if you want to come back, right? And 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 you know John in and in the book he said, Peter, do you love me? Yeah. And and and, and Peter, you know, Peter said, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. <laughs> Jesus asked him three times. That boy was like, Lord, you know all things. Look, I like that. He got the point saying, Well, Lord, you know all things. Yeah. And I'll yeah. ask you twice. But my point is that if a disciple who walked with Jesus, who for three years can, brother Asin, walk away or run away or deny him, that's the challenge of all of us to continue to know that we have to be, stay in this word so that we don't fall away. And and that's what you read earlier with the other scriptures in well, Second Thessalonians, right? Yeah. That, that, that you could be deceived. And it's funny, you know, I thought about that scripture we just read though, right? I thought about it. Did, did you catch that one piece there about the, 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 the lie? What's that? <laughs> Look at it first. See that Second Thessalonians two eleven. Does uh -huh. that believe a lie? That almost kind of reminds you in the modern day, does it? About the uh, <laughs> about the election. Um, they call it, you know, CNN. They call it the big lie. The other group calls it the truth. 74, well, I don't know about 74 million, but a good third believe in a lie. How do you do that? Well, you know, well, they, well, believe, they, they believe what they want to believe. You know, we, we have to become to where when facts are given and they don't line up with your agenda, you can actually create your own. Yeah, you call it alternative facts. <laughs> but, but, um, but look, look, the point is, is that people can be, I would say, would you agree that 
there's a large number of Christians in, in, in even in that party, right? You, you, you agree with that, right? Yeah. Yeah, and yet they could believe a lie if it doesn't fit their yeah, no. And that's, that's where we have to, for believers, and then we're talking about the Hebrews, the, the black Hebrew things and all this stuff. I know you want to, I understand you, 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 you want to feel like you're part of the system that you are significant in history and you are. I, you know, I was talking to a brother yesterday, brother, as we, as we wrap up, is that I was telling him that it's people of color that were in the Old Testament mostly because they came from, and I mean, it's not to put, not to meant to put the, any Caucasians down or anything. It's just saying is that they were, they, they, they came from a region where the people of color was prevalent. But that doesn't make different god didn't select them because of their color that makes sense he didn't yeah. select them because of their color therefore therefore don't get wrapped up and tied up about the color in in you in heaven you're gonna have so, everybody so, huh you, you can't get caught up in the color because i mean galatian pretty much puts it in perspective yeah because I mean, when you look at just just the need a Jew no Greek, you talking the, about the, Galatians three, you know, um, when he's talking to them, you know, he's letting them know that yeah so that they, all the nations will be blessed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Now that was in Genesis, wasn't it? Was that in Galatians? I think it was Genesis. That's Galatians. Galatians 3? Let's see here. Yeah, I think it was in there too. I know it was in. Let's see. Because look, um, Galatians 3 10. Yes, 3 10. For as many as. Uh, of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the books of the law to do this. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. Uh -huh. It is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, no. but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Yeah. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. And then this is what I was alluding to. That the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. Yes. Through Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Yes. So, the Gentiles had nothing to do with the law. No. Nothing. No. But only through Christ. Yes. Are we engrafted into this this family of God? Right. Unto the promises of Abraham. Yes. Yes. So that is our only tie to God. And so everybody that is not believing in Jesus Christ must fulfill the law. Yes. To be justified. Yes. Yeah. That they are of Abraham. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And if you find yourself in the genealogy tree that leads back to Abraham. Come on now. You can't even live under the law. No, because it was not. Abraham not, was not under the law, right? right? It doesn't apply to you if you are a seed of Abraham. Exactly. So no concern you. Right. You were a child, a dog, 
unworthy to even be in the presence. <laughs> right, right. For for to even enjoy a meal with. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> So people claim this law and have no connection to it. None. 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 They're trying to live by something that did not even justify them. Even if they fulfill the law, they're still not justified because it didn't concern them. It didn't concern them. them. They were still outside of the body. Hey, look, and then it didn't work anyway, right? The the law, the law only brought, made you recognize that sin was in you. Where well, Abraham was the father of faith. You know, here, like, in fact, look, look at this. This is what they, I wanted you to know that the scripture, you had quoted it, but I'm telling you where it was at. It was in this scripture, uh, I think it's here. Let me make sure. I may take it back down again before I break it back up for you. Uh, he, he called Abraham, the blessed, da, 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 and all nations, okay make thee great and thou shalt be a blessing uh and all i wanted to want the scripture to say all the nation was blessed because of him it's not this one it's not this one then is it i'll find it i'll bring it back i, I want to get out of the way i'm gonna get out of the way he gonna show him a land and then he gonna cut a covenant with it could have been 15. let me make sure it's not 15. And thee all nations shall be blessed. I'm trying to find that scripture that says that. 15. I will have to come back to it. I'm gonna get out of the way, get that out of the way. You you can you continue your thought you were saying, but it's this this is this is a free gift. It is a gift by faith. And that's how we have to sit there and understand it. It's by faith. If you can accept us by faith, you're doing great. If you can't accept us by, if you gotta go, and I, really I we're telling you, don't let people convince you otherwise, right? Yeah. Abraham, Abraham, it was counted to Abraham for righteousness because he believed. It you know? sure wasn't counted because of his, his actions. No, no, <laughs> no. Because it, it, it was just right off the bat. If he was uh, told to leave, just get up, pack up his stuff and leave, but no one told him to, to bring everybody with him. He did take a lot with him. He did. <laughs> yeah, a lot wasn't a part of that. <laughs> no, no. He was not part of it. And, and, and that's that's the whole point about it. Is it. But he's supposed to follow what God told him to do. And eventually yeah, he had to... You know, eventually you had to separate from a lot. Yeah. They 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 got indignant. You know, they were like, uh, we can't we ain't got enough room between you and me. So I, yeah. I need you to go ahead and do your thing and, and, and that's all he wants you to do. Um, and then Lot gonna choose the best way. <laughs> he did. He can look the other gave him a choice too to do it, then. Yeah. Solomon, look, look where he went to. Solomon. Yeah. I mean, it had nothing to do with his choice. I don't think, you know, I just thought it was the it was the land that was better. You know, and we didn't know nothing about Sodom and Gomorrah until the story goes on. So prior to that, <laughs> you know, it was, yeah. Yeah. he was just looking at the land that was just rolling you know with hay and, and, and all the all the their uh their animals could just graze and, and the you know it was just prime land it was just prime land you know it was green it was green plushy right yeah and that's how he'll say i'm gonna go this way because i know i can feed my sheep uh yeah. i can do a lot of good things if i just go that way you know and then that's why I think God was, uh, that's why he chose it. But even then as an illusion, because the whole purpose is you just, if you follow God, that's where your blessings will be. Yeah. It's not what you see in the world, what you see in him. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the key to it. So Brian, I think we covered, I think we covered a lot. 
And the fact that what I wanted to be able to show that this is a free gift and that no man, and don't let no man judge you. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you go for the week. Uh, hopefully we can link up on Thursday. Let me call on Thursday. What's Thursday? What's the day? What the Thursday is? No, it's just, uh, that's the 28th. Thursday is the 28th. Yeah. But yeah, I should be back though. Bad time anyway. Uh, what time we got? We, we talk about 830, right? That's fine. It don't, it don't matter. Yeah. Yeah, 830. Uh, I may do me a, a some of my, a video one on one first myself just to uh, make sense of the word. That's what I'm trying to do, right? <laughs> oh yeah, and, and that's what it's all about. You know, it, it's got it's got to uh, it's got to be plain and it's got to be direct. Yes. And it's got to point to Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And 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 and, and that's it. And. and but it's got to start in love. It does. That's the, that's the foundation right there. You know. It does. And I think, I think, and, and you know, um, we just encourage brothers, uh, don't, don't, uh, at least right now, because we got so many things that's pulling the saints, Christians away, uh, the falling away is happening, or the, the, I may call it the dry run. You know, I think we may be seeing, even with this, the, some of the division you see today, it, it, it could be a dry run or prelude to where things are going to go bad in this world. And especially after the Holy Spirit is moved, leaves and takes, hopefully, no, no, leaves and take us with them. <laughs> uh -huh. Those who believe. But we we got a long ways to go. And I just want to be able to encourage people. It's a free gift. Nobody can take it from you. Nobody can judge you. It's him. And let him work with you. Amen? Amen. All right. I'll pray real quick. I just want to pray so we can close out. Father, I thank you for this opportunity for us to come to worship. Praise your holy name. I pray, every Father, those who have listened to our discussion today. But with using the word of God, I pray that even the words we put up on those slides, let those words be the foundation. Let the words, let them walk away with the words more than any of the conversation or the byproducts of what we say but what the word says that's their foundation that's where their hope is their justification their righteousness my righteousness my justification who i am is freely given to me through jesus christ so everyone that's listen today father all i ask is let them take away with that understanding that they have received a gift freely and that no man can judge them and take that gift away. But I pray that they all stay in the word. Just like Brother Azza said, you got to have an empty cup. And you got to allow the Holy Spirit to be able to feel the knowledge and revelation that God gives us if we just allow ourselves to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Protect us until next time we meet and continue to strengthen us in the word of God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Man, I'll get it. You said feel. You know, it's, I think that's in the scripture somewhere, right? Being feel. Yeah. Woo! I gotta, see, I gotta be, I gotta be empty of the world thing so I can be feel. Woo! Amen. Wow. Okay. God bless you. I'll give it going. I'm giving it free myself. All right. You be <laughs> blessed, brother. All right. You too. Bye bye. Hey, y'all. Uh, please, as we close out, I mean, like, wow. <laughs> I, I mean, I believe we're closing out with something that I wanted to, 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 to just start meditating on and let you meditate on it as well. Be a feel with the Holy Spirit and you got to be to be filled with the Holy Spirit you got to be empty of the things of this world and the spirit of this world of the enemy of this world you got to be filled with the Holy Spirit allow the Holy Spirit to be filled and indwell we are the temple of the of God that the Holy Spirit we're connected because of the Holy Spirit so we we could I mean golly 
just understand this justification is freely given and that's what i love about the gospel that what makes me excited see i am i am more than a car i'm a child of god freely i'm justified freely <laughs> it's just like a child mine you can't take it i don't care what you think i don't care what you feel i don't care what you're thinking about it's freely given and because of that free gift i can change not because of you not for your approval but for his <laughs> not because you you want me to be a certain way no it's because of love for myself love for my brothers you know that that, that great commandment it says to love the lord thy god with all thy heart all thy soul all thy strength all thy mind and to love thy neighbors thyself is understand as a free gift freely given so you should freely give to somebody else i want you to have a great week i enjoy those who had took time to listen and those who will listen later god bless you and you have a great great week and uh the lord be with you amen